Hey, it's not like you to read. What are you reading? I'm seeing if this is any good. I've got the caravan manual from Haynes, which you can find Ooh. in our Amazon shop, which is actually quite good. There'll be a link at the bottom that'll point you into the direction. I want to use this today, part of my video. So we're going to have a look around at a few new vans that have just come in. We're going to have a look at a couple of tips that are sort of within here and see what's going on. So, new ones that have just come in, we've got a Swift Finesse 560, if you didn't see this on our Facebook page, we just put a bit of a layout on it, uh, we're not going to have a proper look in this one just yet, we might do in a minute, so have a look through the window, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Come on, wake up. So it's got the fixed island bed at the back and last week I was sort of saying that the fixed island beds have been very 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 popular last year and I think they're going to be the same this year. Got carried away, I was going to do a market update but that's gone out the window because I found this manual and I'm doing this instead. Just in the office on the floor. Uh, so this is Coachman Arcadia 545, again this was one that just came in. He's got all of his stuff in it. Let's not look in this one then, we're changing our, ta we're changing our plan. We're going to look in the other one. Got the Coachman VIP 575, so this one's just arrived um, and it's locked. Have a look through the window. Um, 1658, so this is a heavy one. The VIP, it's got the side island bed, the transverse island bed off of the side and that has just come in and is awaiting cleaning. Now, talking about cleaning, I'm not going to find it again now in this book I must. In the, in the Haynes manual, I think this is really good and if you're sort of new to caravanning or even if you've been caravanning for a while, there's some good, some good little information on here but you do have to be careful about some of the information that it tells you uh, and it gives you little tips and tricks of um, sealing things up, how the construction is. Just got to find it now, what I was on about. Replacing windows. Now, something that I have found in here. You can't tell people to read this book about how to replace windows and things. They won't watch your videos then. Of course they will. Of course they will, because once I've read the book, I can then tell them what they should and what they shouldn't do. Okay. And Mr. Mr. Person here, Mr. Person here, he's with his jet wash, and he's got it blowing right on the seal. Now, seal. Um, this is the Haynes Caravan Manual, which majority of it is really, really good. But if you're going to blow a seal, it's not a very good idea. So if you're Firstly, I probably wouldn't say to use a pressure washer at all, uh, even if your caravan's filthy like this one. Pressure washers are going to damage your seals, it's going to blow up through under windows, it's going to cause you problems. You can use a pressure washer at a good distance, um, but with the way that they've got you in this picture... You lost it again now. I've lost it now. Gone again now. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've lost it again. He's blowing the crap out of it. Because, like, that's just going to that's just asking for problems. No wonder they had so many problems with the old seal. And if, like, Haynes Manual's telling you to go in there and pressure wash into the seal. So, do not use a pressure washer like that. Um, most of the other stuff, to be fair, about the stain removals and whatever, is pretty good. And it's obviously not the weather at the minute to be thinking about cleaning, but it's going to be soon. Um, we're going to get a lot of rubbish off of the roof. I had somebody come in today about his solar panel. So the thing with this time of year is that what you'll tend to find is that your battery, your leisure battery, and we said about the leisure battery the other week, the cold weather is going to attack your leisure battery and it's going to discharge the leisure battery more than it normally would. So solar panel um, obviously is supposed to be trickle charging our battery, keeping our battery up and keeping it in good condition. The problem is this time of year, um, if the roof has got dirty, then obviously we are going to need to clean it. Hence why I've been looking at the Caravan Haynes manual and looking at different things that it was saying about there. and um, Trying to keep, even if you can't obviously get up and clean the roof, a really good time to clean the solar panel so that any sun that we do get, it's going to give you the most effect. And, and some, Andy came in today, uh, a local chap who, um, he's got his caravan and his phantom tracker kept going off. It kept going off last night. so. They sort of says, oh, um, go and check the battery. And what had happened is his solar panel that's supposed to keep the battery trickle charged up got a big thick layer of ice on there. So he says, I've just had to be 
go down there clean that off and it started to charge it back up again so obviously ice can make a big difference as well but just in general making sure it's nice and clean um and that the, the solar panel if you've got one fitted you've spent all this money on a caravan with a solar panel or you've had a solar panel fitted if you've left it dirty obviously it's not going to do what it should be doing so let's give our solar panels a good clean but let's not get up there with our pressure washer and blow the seals basically um, the other thing that um, we was gonna say about it is obviously if you're using your caravan this time of year and you're going to go and use it actually with the gas rather than the electric plugged in dumpy little bottle a really good thing to use is our little color gas checker and um, so this is going to tell us how much gas that we've actually got within the bottle So we're about there. And then, so we're sort of, we've not got a huge amount of gas left in here. Uh, obviously, if you run out of gas this time of year, it's going to cause you problems. So instead of the old trying to shake it and find out how much gas you've actually got left in there um, it's a really good tool just to find out how much gas that you've actually got in there and it's just going to hopefully stop you running out so just a bit more precise well we're on about gas bottles did um, mick tell you that he'd seen a video to say that he started doing the little bottles have you looked at that you color gas yeah no i've not looked at that yeah, that's what he said on um he said there's somebody on YouTube is going around saying that they're recommissioning them. They've gone back on their uh, what they said. Yeah, so I don't think that they've, it doesn't look like they've actually started doing them. They are saying that it's still discontinued, yeah. um, but it says a limited supply is available. So if you've got the smaller bottles, you might. Yeah, they've got no red ones on there. So I think all that it actually is, I don't think that it, they've reintroduced those little bottles. I think it is just a fact that literally, um, if, if places are out there and they've got them, you can still exchange them, obviously. A naughty way, a really, really naughty way. Some LPG sort of auto gas places have sometimes got a connector that can go onto the gas bottles. Um, so it, if you've got a smaller dumpy bottle it might be possible to have it refilled you didn't hear that here though i think it's going to be 21995 it's 2020 so it's the 2021 that's just arrived in here um it's got the alco atc it's got the 13 pin uh electric external electric barbecue locker underneath of the bed it's got the nicer upholstery um, no, it's not for a big van, uh, 1500 kilograms. So, uh, yeah, nice, a nice weight um, van, especially with all the extras that you've got on there. So, that's just coming. We will be doing separate little videos. As I said, the Coachman VIP, that's just coming. That is quite a bit heavier. So, we'll have a look in that next week, I'd have thought. Um, we have got the Coachman Arcadia. Uh, which is same layout as that, exactly the same layout as that, um, but that's a little bit heavy, but it's still in there cleaning at the minute, so next week we'll have a look in that one as well. And then we'll probably have a look at a few things over at Gailey, and we'll have a look through our Haynes manual again, uh, and see what other tips that we can come up with that is sort of going to help you again. Uh, a good time now just to be doing little checks every now and again, uh, making sure that sort of our battery, as I say, this, this weather is really going to affect our battery, so making sure that that's nicely charged up. We can check our electrics, um, obviously just by pulling the car up. Um, so if, if your caravan is in storage and your battery is going low and you've got 13 pin electrics or you've got two seven pin electrics you can actually plug into the car while you're at the storage leave the engine running and that will just start giving the the battery on the caravan a little bit of a charge if you can't take the actual battery off there or it's just dropped a little bit lower so it's a nice way when you're in storage just to be able to give it a bit of a boost even if it's that you've got a solar panel and it's just dropped a bit lower than you really want it to because of the weather this even though it's a sunny one today um 
the sun is a lot lower and we just haven't we've had a few dark days where it's it's just going to have dropped a bit so um just a nice little hack where you can actually charge it up um via the 13 pin electrics or the two seven pin electrics and get some power back in that battery and do it off the car while you're there doing some of the little jobs etc so uh, hopefully you've enjoyed our little tips hit that like button hit the subscribe button uh, 21,000 subscribers now we've sailed past um so we're we're sort of well on our way to 100,000 now <laughs> so uh, if if you're not already as I say hit the subscribe button hit the like button drop us a comment and we'll see you next week thanks for watching I'm Mark at the Caravan Place